thanks, and I'm with Graham Lloyd. Graham, today we are celebrating that 1998 World Series team. Can you believe it has been 25 years? No. No, I can't believe it, but uh, every year I get... It, it's amazing to me, really. It was one of the best seasons, the best teams, and to be on it, you know, and, and play my bit. In 98, I threw one pitch in the World Series. I got one out, so... I guess, you know, they played four games and I got my 1% in there. But it was, it's just beautiful to be back here and see all the boys and, and go out and have some fun. Hey, that's all they needed, right? It still counts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you know, it, was, it was just, you know, we, we went through San Diego pretty well. I guess, you know, we, we were losing games up to the 6th, 7th, I think three of them. And then we just came back. And I think that's what we did all year. And to have that record, 125 and 50, was spectacular. What was it like to, to watch from the bullpen as you guys kind of went through that season, win after win after win? Yeah, it was, it was, it was so quick. Year, like when you win, the year goes very, very quickly. But, you know, we had that belief, and um, it's, it's one of those things that you just can't explain. And the belief that was there and, you know, the, the way that uh, that team continued on. And, and we'd be down in the 6th, 7th a lot of times, and we'd just still come through. Um, I think our hitters were some of the most patient hitters that I'd ever seen in that year. You know, it was, if it was off an inch, they'd take the pitch. So it was, it was a wonderful team. The pitching, I mean, what can I say? You know, the, the boys, you know, I had a great ERA, but it was the guys around me that didn't let anyone score if I left them out there. But, you know, everyone looked after each other, and it was a tremendous, tremendous time. Was there an added pressure to not be the guy that kind of, you know, let people down because everyone was performing so well? Did that kind of add to the motivation? Um, you know, I don't think that even entered the mind because that was a, a bit of a negative thought. You know what I mean? It was more we we expected we are going to do the job, you know. And I, I guess, you know, you, you could think of it that way, obviously. But, but no, I think our perspective was we go out there and do the job. And if we didn't, someone else behind us would. What was your favorite moment from that season? World yeah. Series aside, winning it. Um, I, can't, I can't pull one out. You know, 114 wins was an amazing season. And like I said, it just went so quickly. Take me behind the scenes. What was it like in, in the clubhouse, in the bullpen with that group of guys? Yeah, I mean, everyone, it, it was very cohesive. You know, we were out there. I mean, there was professionals everywhere that were doing all their jobs. And, and you could just tell, you know, every day everyone had their, their regiment and what was going on and, and made sure they were ready for the game. I know the Yankees community is always super tight, but was there anyone that you're really looking forward to catching up with today? Um, <laughs> well, it's, it's good to catch up with uh, all the mates I used to hang around with and, and go out with. I mean, it's great to see Boomer, you know, uh, Jeff Nelson, uh, the bullpen guys, you know, we were tight. And uh, it was, yeah, I, I think it, it's just there's, there's so many guys that you see and you go, ah, here we are. Love it. Well, Jeff Nelson is now with the Yes Network, so I'm going to have to yeah. talk to you when we turn this camera off and get some of the really good stories. <laughs> Graham, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Meredith.